Hey guys, so I was asked how to install XStudio and how to use it, so um, I thought I'd make a quick unscripted video just showing the basics of how to get it and get it running. Um, you don't actually have to install XStudio when you download it from here, from the um, homepage. You don't have to uh, install it, it comes out like this. Um, you get a lot of wallpapers for the original characters that haven't finished, and you get some extra installers just in case you need these to actually run the program. You just use the EXE here, which I have pinned. Once you've started it, you're greeted with this page, which has got your recent projects or the demos if you've just downloaded it. Um, this is the enrollment page for if you want to create a singing yourself. As far as I know, you have to uh, submit five songs, including whatever this one is. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure because I don't actually speak uh, Chinese either. Um, you can start a new project from here. Um, these are all the singers that are available right now. There's 15 of them. Um, today we're just going to go with Rinna or um, Zhao Ice because. She's the nicest one to work with, um, for a song like the one we've got a demo for. So as you work, the um, singer will say things, I'm not entirely sure exactly what they say, but uh, as you do stuff, say if you make them sing out of their range, they'll actually tell you that it's wrong. Um, this light area here is supposed to be their optimal range, and what's in the dark is their not optimal range. Um, some of the singers have like a four note range, some of the newest ones, and I'm assuming that's a mistake because they can't sing higher in the whore. So, um, you make notes with the normal, like the piano uh, tool like this. There's a selection tool and there's an eraser. So you can uh, do that. Um, change the tempo, the... The the meter, the... Um, numbers and the notes are numbered here for the key. You can actually change this if you want to. Um, like this. Which is very, it's actually quite cool. It'd be a great composition tool if this was real time, but it's not. Um, this is for real time play, this option here. And this is for piano play, where I'll just play piano notes. Um, and here's for note tuning, and this is for the tuning mode. It's very much like Sevio or Deep Vocal or Muda or Sharp Key or anything like that. Um, this is for exporting, this is exporting WAV, MIDI, and MP3. You can't actually use this unless you've signed in, which you need a Chinese number for. Um, you would press here to uh, sign in if you could. Here you can yeah, import MIDI and WAV files, so we're going to import a MIDI here. Which is for a Joel and Sai song called Butterfly. Now this is the entire song. Um, XStudio won't really be able to uh, render all this the entire time. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do the first few notes, the first line of the song, and we're going to cut out the rest for now. I'd recommend just having like 10, 20 different MIDI files. I know that's a lot, but we used to do that with the towel back in the day, so it should be fine. Um, now, you notice I have my uh, Chinese keyboard on. It's because uh, XStudio can't actually take pinyin or anything else like that. Only, only handy. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Oh god, I'm probably not. Um, So here's something to point out, um, these are all reverb options, and this third one here is dry. Um, I'm not entirely sure why dry is not the original option, but uh, that's something Microsoft only knows. Um, this is for quantize. I'm just going to switch it to 32 there. Now, normally you would be able to move the WAV file, but it looks like that's actually not an option in 1.2, so we're just going to leave that for now. Um, normally it would move. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Um, so, uh, with lyrics, I'd say this is this is a totally a cheat, but this is the easiest way to do it, I'd say. Um, they would just copy and paste and use the insert lyrics option. It's all um, one character per 
note. So you can't use spaces or line breaks, like, like if you have an enter, then you can't use it like that. If you want a note to carry on, just like other programs, you just use a hyphen and they'll carry on for the note, um, like Melisma. It can be a bit of a slow process because you have to um, wait for it to render every time you hear it. The piano mode won't actually tell you if the lyrics are correct. This is only for people who don't speak Chinese to be fair. Um, but what I would recommend doing is as you're transcribing a song just get the lyrics ready and add in the hyphens and stuff like that so you can just immediately enter it in. No matter where you press enter lyrics from it'll show the rest of the song but if you just select the notes you want now this used to work hold on life changed has changed you can't actually do that anymore never mind you used to be able to just see the notes you have selected so we've got all the lyrics in this is how you get tuning mode on it'll render first before you turn on tuning mode At least I'm assuming it's rendering. This is for pitch and this is for fun like timing. And this is for if you'd like to see. Hold on. This is for freehand mode. And this is for uh, note dot down um, control point mode, just like your tile. But it's got a twist. That you enter them like that, that you. Uh, you have to confirm it, then it'll draw it for you, which is quite nice. Um, it's going to do a little bit of drawing and hope it sounds right. the worst part of like studios that you don't know if what what you're doing is going to sound right so it'll take quite a long time to actually get anything done we're just gonna go with that for now um straight straight onto the, the phonetic timing it's a fantastic tool and it's amazing that Microsoft is actually providing so many voices for us, especially that they're letting the community make a lot of these, like, um, can change in uh, phono mode, but a lot of these are provided from the community um, through the enrollment program thing, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, Rina has been making fun of us on Weibo uh, for asking for tuning options, but I don't think that's actually Microsoft's use, I think it's just her character. I certainly hope so anyway. Um, these are the start of a note, the end transition of a note, and the beginning of the next note. Kind of like um, Musa, unlike the uh, the rest of it being quite like Sevio and stuff, which is interesting. It's a bit like they've taken bits of all sorts of programs and put them together. When you're using the user-made voice, I'd probably recommend doing this first before anything else because it will affect the pitch perception quite a lot if you move these afterwards. But when it comes to at least the first four, then it's pretty safe. Leaving the end of the note like this um, can sometimes create a breath release, like um, sharp key and deep vocal. Sometimes. <laughs> Looks like she's actually giving us advice there. Shame we can't read it. There's been some community effort from mainly Haru to translate this, so it'll be quite exciting to see how that goes. Another editor that's been doing the talking thing for quite some time is Niao Niao Yuan. 
却是甜，却发现美丽没有极简点。Um, but she also gives advice and talks that I don't think is quite as responsive. Um, that is basically the gist of X Studio. There's not much else you can redo when you're tuning. Um, it looks like they are considering more options. Um, they're also probably considering more languages because mm. this software originally debuted in Japanese and then in Chinese. Um. Out of the voices that are available right now, anything with this kind of artwork is someone who's unfinished. They've got no completed um, visuals. This is what our lad here was like before he was finished. Um, and some of these are user-made, which is very interesting. Um, it's fantastic to see that they're letting the community in like this and letting them be part of the software. Um, hopefully more of this is to come. Uh, that's basically it. Uh, I know it's super, super duper awkward and probably like a very 2008 tutorial video. Uh, because it's unscripted, but I thought it would just be the easiest way to show things off. Uh, thank you for listening.